Hi, welcome to all of you into my new course of SAP Materials Management that is Split Valuation. It is a very interesting subject. Let me give you the introduction of this course. What I am going to cover in this particular course is, I will explain you the definition of split valuation. Then I will explain you about the important terms which are used in split valuation. Then I will demonstrate you a few examples of split valuation. I will explain you the customizing setting for split valuation. Then I will create a material with split valuation and I will show you one demonstration, a test case of by using procurement and goods receipt of a material having split valuation. Split valuation. Split valuation enables you to evaluate stocks of a material in the same valuation area. Valuation area means company or plant. SAP recommends you to put the valuation area as plant only. Some of the examples where split valuation is required are as follows. Sometimes we procure the goods externally from a vendor and sometimes we produce the same material into in our own plant. It means we are doing the in-house production. So if you want to evaluate the materials differently for the externally produced or in-house produced materials. So in that situation, we can use the split valuation. Sometimes we are evaluating the stock which we are getting from one vendor at a different price and we are getting the same material from a different vendor at another price. So we can use the split valuation in that case also. And sometimes we are using different different batches for a particular material. So in that case, we can also use the split valuation. Let me just tell you about some important terms which are used in split valuation. We are using a term valuation area. Valuation area means it can be a plant or it can be a company. But SAP recommends you to put the valuation area as a plant. So we will say that our valuation area is only plant. Then the second term is valuation category. Valuation category is the criteria on which material is split valuated. Whenever we create any material and if the split valuation is active, then at that moment system is asking you for valuation category in accounting view of a material master. Once you set up the valuation category into the material master, then you are supposed to create the material for that valuation types which are assigned to that valuation category. So valuation type specifies the features of a valuation category. I will explain you all these three terms in the live demonstration of the example. Let me just tell you about some more business examples for split valuation. We are buying the material via domestic mode and we can procure the material from import also. So we, we can differentiate the material values based on the domestic mode or import mode via split valuation. Sometimes we are getting the materials from different different locations. So we can evaluate the materials based on its origin. Sometimes we are getting the materials which are based on its quality like we are having so many kind of grades in quality like A, B or C or D. So we can differentiate the material value based on its quality via split valuation. I have explained you all these three things in the last slide. The procurement type, it can be internal or external. Then origin, it is the locations. Quality is quality grade. I will explain you about the customizing setting for split valuation. Three different important terms are used in, in doing the customizing setting for split valuation. The first one is global types. Second one is global categories. Third one is local definitions. In the first global types, we are supposed to create the different different valuation types like external, internal and some other valuation types can also be made. And in the second case, we are supposed to create the valuation category wherein we are going to assign the valuation types to these categories. And in the third case, we are going to assign the categories to the organizational units like plant. So it means we are going to activate the global category on the organizational unit on plant so that when you create the material in that plant 
and if you select the specific valuation category then system will allow you to extend the material on the valuation types so i will show this demonstration of test case in the upcoming lectures so wish you all the very best for the new lectures and the upcoming lectures